Hi, welcome to Storytime for Home Time with me, James Mayhew. Today, another story, another upside down picture. And this story is from Spain. It's called The Orange Princess. Because this is a long story, it'll be two halves. So part one today and part one tomorrow. Once upon a time, they lived a king, the king of Spain. And his favourite food in all the world was, well, I think you can guess, can't you? It was oranges. Now, this king grew orange trees in his garden. People said that the oranges that grew in the king's garden were the most delicious in the whole of Spain. But no one was quite sure because he wouldn't let anybody else taste them. Only him and the Queen of Spain could eat these delicious, sweet oranges. But one day when he was walking in the garden, he saw some oranges had been stolen from the tree. And he was so angry, he said to his wife, the Queen, I'm going to set a trap. I'm going to hang silver bells all over the tree. And if anybody else tries to take my oranges, I will hear the bells ringing. And I will capture them. Them. I'll put them in my dungeon for a whole day for each orange they have stolen. Now that night, just as he was getting ready for bed, he heard the silver bells ringing. And so he ran downstairs in his pyjamas, which is quite undignified for the King of Spain. And there he saw a little old woman stealing oranges. And he said to her, Excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? And she said, well, I couldn't resist. They just smelt so delicious, I had to take some. And the king said, but you can't. They're my oranges. You're not allowed. And I shall punish you. I shall put you in my dungeon. A day and a night for every orange you've taken. And he counted them up. And oh, dearie me, they were rather a lot. There were seven of them. So she had to go into the dungeon for a whole week, seven days and seven nights. So in she went and he locked the door. He thought, now that will teach her a lesson. But unfortunately, what the king didn't realise was that this old woman was actually a witch. And she was now a very grumpy witch. And she was planning and plotting a way to take revenge on the king. Meanwhile, the Queen of Spain had a baby, a little baby princess. And everyone in Spain celebrated with feasts and fiestas. They were all so excited. And soon came the day when the king and the queen were due to announce the name of the baby. And everyone gathered outside the royal palace, wondering what would the name of the baby be? Would the princess be called... Maria or Margarita or Montserrat. And the king and the queen stood on the balcony and the king said, the name of the baby is Orange. Yes, he named her after his favourite food. Secretly, everybody thought that was a very silly name for a princess. But of course, one doesn't argue with the king of Spain. And so, after that, she was known thereafter as the Orange Princess. Now, soon the seven days passed. It was time to let the old woman out of the prison, the dungeon in the castle. Now, the king did still not know that she was a witch. So he opened the door and he let her out and he thought, oh, well, she'll, she'll bow down to me and promise to never steal my oranges again, I suppose. But she didn't. She stood up straight and said, King, tell me, is there anything you love more than your oranges? And the king said, yes, of course I love my baby princess daughter, the orange princess. I love her even more. Hearing this, the old woman was really a witch, ran into the palace and she grabbed hold of the baby, carried the baby up, up the chimney and flew away into the sky. Well, of course, the queen cried 
And the king roared with anger. He sent all his guards to look for the witch. But they couldn't find the witch or the baby princess anywhere. The witch also put a spell on all the oranges. Not just the king's oranges, but all the oranges in Spain. And now they didn't taste sweet anymore. No, they tasted sour and bitter. And from that day onwards, nobody wanted to eat oranges anymore. And Spain became a rather sad country without its sweet oranges. Now, not too far away from the palace, there lived a boy in a little house. And his name was Antonio. And his favourite food in all the world was, yes, you guessed it, oranges. He was very grumpy that now the oranges all tasted horrible and sour. And he said to his mother and father, one day, when I'm old enough and big enough, I shall go off into the world and I shall seek out a sweet orange. An orange so sweet that I can eat it straight from the tree. Well, his mother and father laughed and thought he was just being silly, but he wasn't. And he remembered. And when he was much older, when he was 16 years old, he said to his mother and father, And now the day has come. I'm going to go off into the world and I'm going to seek out my sweet orange. And he took the family donkey, who was called Petra, I think, and he took his father's sword, a bit rusty but better than nothing, and his mother gave him a bag full of cakes she had made, cakes made from honey, and a flask of water, just in case he got thirsty. And off he went, on Pedro the donkey, to search for a sweet orange. Now he searched all over Spain, everywhere. But he couldn't find a sweet orange. Every orange he came to was sour and bitter. So in the end, he left Spain. He went further and further. Till he came to another land. Another kingdom. And he went to see the king in this kingdom. And he said, oh king, tell me. I'm searching for an orange, sweet enough to eat from the tree. Can you help me? And this king said, no, I cannot. All the oranges here taste sour and bitter. So he went further and further still to another kingdom. And he said to the king here, oh king, tell me, are there any oranges so sweet I can eat them straight from the tree? And this king said, no, nothing here. All the oranges here taste horrible. Don't you know anything? And so Antonio went on his way again trundling along on Pedro the donkey. At last he came to a third kingdom, and he went to see the king here and said to him, Please, I've travelled far, many miles, and I'm tired and I'm desperate. Please, I'm searching for my sweet orange. Can you help me? And the king said, I might be able to help you, because in my kingdom there grows an orange tree high on a hill, and people say the oranges on that tree are the sweetest in all the world. But nobody can be sure because the tree is guarded by a terrible dragon. Now, if you can defeat that dragon, I'd be very grateful because that dragon is a pesky beast who comes into my kingdom each night and tries to eat my people. So if you can defeat the dragon, then you'll be able to go to the top of the hill and taste the oranges for yourself. And if you do get rid of the dragon, then I will reward you with royal treasure. So Antonio had a difficult task. He had to climb up the top of a hill where there lived a terrible dragon and he had to try and fight that dragon so he could reach the orange tree and taste the oranges to see if they were sweet. What do you think happened next? Well, you'll have to wait until tomorrow, I'm afraid. Um, so tune in tomorrow for part two of The Orange Princess. And thanks for watching Storytime for Home Time. Bye.